Now I'm going to show you how to perform extrude cut. This is the 3D object and I'm to do the extrude cut of this small rectangle. So I select the extrude cut. It is asking me to select an existing sketch or planner face or edge. So I'm selecting this sketch that I want to um, do the extrude cut. So I select that and it is showing a preview of the cut. There is an option, there is a blind, if you select blind then you can tell how length of the cut you want. If I do 2, it will go much deeper or you can just select through all and that way it will cut through all from this surface to the end. This also lets you to do taper cut. All you have to do is just select this one and say how much of angle you want. So if I did one degree, so if you see it's bigger and it's going one degree taper towards the other end, so this is smaller on the other side. You can do opposite if you just select draft outward, then it will be going bigger on the other side. Um, you can also select direction, second direction, in that way it will create the same thing on both sides. This is the use when you have this drawing inside of a mid plane of an object and you want to cut on the both side then you can select direction 2. There is also a thin feature that you can um, turn on. What it does it creates a thin thickness on top of the drawing that you had exactly the dimension is given here. You can normally it does the outward you can select opposite direction then it will create the thin dimension inside and it is always taper as well. So if I do thin feature and click it, it will ask me which body I want to keep. Select the body. So if I select the first one, it will be the outer one. If I select the second one, it will be the inner one. So it will have only this part. So I select the first part so I will have only the outer uh, body. The second option to do an extrude cut inside a 3D object that you may not be able to go through all the way to the surface. To do that, I have to draw a reference plane inside the object and I draw the rectangle cut that I want to make. And all I have to do is select extrude cut and it is already doing that for me. I can do I don't since I don't want to the surface I can just say a smaller length so it'll do one side if I want both side of that plane um, I can just do blind one and direction two which is also um, blind I can select blind and select the distance whatever I want two inch which is beyond so let's do one and if I accept it will do the cut um, inside 